Hello, hello everyone. Hello guys. How are you guys on today? I missed you guys over the weekend. Guess what time it is? It's story time with Miss Doris. I have an awesome book to read to you guys today. We are reading our continuous chapter book. The book is The Magic Tree House number five. Tree House number five. The Night of the Ninjas. Hello, hello. And welcome to Story Time with Miss Doris. Today's book chapter we're going to be reading is chapter six and seven. Chapter six and seven on today. I'm so excited to be reading you guys a book on today. I am so, so excited. I'm going to go ahead on and get started. Hello, Shekana. Hello, Shekana and Shekwavia. How are you guys on today? I hope you had an awesome day today and school, you guys. I hope you had an awesome Monday today so far with schooling. Hello and welcome. I'm going to go ahead on and get started. Hey, I would like to greet everyone all over the world. I would like to say hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some good night. Someone is going to bed somewhere in the world. But guess what? You are just in time for story time with Miss Doris. I'm so excited to be reading you guys a book on today. Well, before we get started, I'd like to say a couple of shout outs to a few people. And then we're going to go ahead and don't forget, we are learning our alphabets in sign. So we're going to go over that before we actually, actually get started on today what are you guys having for lunch on today i bet whatever it is it's delicious so we're going to go ahead and get started i'd like to give a shout out to all of you guys all of our story time fans hello guys welcome to story time i missed you guys i'm glad you guys are tuning in all of those that liked our story time page thank you so much we greatly appreciate you i like to say hello to hillary hello rome hello qj hello kalani hello aries happy birthday aries i hope you had an awesome fourth birthday party happy birthday aries we love you at story time hello seppi hello aiden hello ayana hello jaylene Seven. Hello, Cheyenne. Hello, London. I missed you, London. I haven't seen you in a while, but I know you're going to be tuning in soon. Hello, Rome. I'd like to give a special shout out to Women Helping Women Entrepreneur. Hello, young ladies. You ladies are phenomenal women. Hello, Tinkertown. Hello, guys. I miss you guys. To my Promised Land family. Hello, hello. I love you all and to my family. You guys are awesome. I love you all. And hello, Royce. Hello, Royce, Mr. Beal. Miss BJ, hello guys, you guys are awesome. Well, let's go ahead on and get started. You guys go ahead on and have a seat. Let's get started with our alphabets. The first letters we did were A through D. So we're gonna go ahead on and do those first and then we'll do last week. So let's go ahead on, get our hands up. We are gonna do the sign letters A, B, C, and D. So you ready? Hands up, letter A, letter B, C and D. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, and D. The other letters we did were E, F, and G. The other letters we did were E, F, and G. Hands up. The letter E, F, and G. E, F, and G. E, F, G, H. Hands up. E, F, G, and H. The other letter we did was I. Friday's letter was I. Hands up. Remember, bend the four fingers, thumb relax on the fourth finger, 
and the letter I. So we're going to do E, F, G, H, I. Hands up. E, F, G, H, and the letter I. Today's letter is going to be the letter J. The letter J. Today's letter is the letter J. This is the letter J, capital J, small j. This is the letter J. So the J, we're going to put our hands up. And the J, you have to make an I first. So we do the hands up, bend the three fingers, thumb relax on the fourth finger as if we're making an I. So this pinky finger is going to be relaxed. And we're just going to take the pinky finger and we are going to make the letter J. And the only thing we're going to do is do it like this. This is the letter J. So hands up, three fingers relaxed, thumb re relaxed on the fourth finger, pinky finger up, pinky finger up, and then we're just going to take this pinky finger and curve it like that. That is the letter J, the letter J. So let's try it one more time. Hands up, three fingers, thumb relaxed, pinky finger up, the letter J. It's just like making a J, just like a hook. So the pinky finger up, letter J. So let's do, hmm, let's do the letter I and J. Hands up, the letter I, bend the fingers, thumb relax, pinky finger. This is the letter I, the letter I. Now we're not going to put our hands up. Again, we're just going to go from the I to the J. So this is the letter I and J. I and J, the letter I and J. So let's do them all together. A through J, hands up, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. You guys were awesome. Let's do it one more time in our mind without saying the letters out loud. Hands up. Ready. Set. Go. Awesome, awesome job. You guys did an awesome job. Well, did you want to try it one more time? Are you guys got it? I know you guys can do it. Well, let's just go ahead on and get started with our story on today. Let's see what this story is talking about. Well, today we're going to be reading chapter 6 and the title of our book again is the Magic Tree House number five, The Night of the Ninjas. We are on chapter six, The Shadow Warrior. The Shadow Warrior. <coughs> Excuse me. Go ahead on and have a seat. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat is dry. Let me get me a construct. I want my hands. It's story time. Story time. <coughs> Excuse me. Shadow Warrior. Jack and Annie went into the cave. I'm adjusting the music. Jack and Annie went into the cave. They followed the ninjas through the darkness. The back of the cave was lit with dozens of candles. Shadows danced all on the walls. In the flickering light, Jack saw a dark figure sitting on the woven mat. The ninja master. The ninja bowed to the master. Then he stepped to one side. The master stared at Jack and Annie. Sit, he said. 
Jack and Annie sat on the cold, hard floor. Squeak! The mouse poked his head out of Annie's pouch. It's okay, Peanut, said Annie. The master stared at the mouse for a moment. He looked at Jack. Who are you, he asked. I'm Jack, and that's my sister Annie, Jack answered. There's the master sitting on the floor. And Annie and Jack had to sit as well. They were walking towards the master sitting on the floor. Wow. I don't know about that. Where do you come from? The master asked. Frog Creek, Pennsylvania, Annie answered. Why are you here? He asked. We're trying to help our friend Morgan. Lee said Jack. She left us a message. Annie pointed to the short ninja. We gave the message to him. You mean you gave the message to her? Said the ninja master. And she had given it to me. She said, Jack and Annie together. The woman ninja eyes sparkle. Jack thought she might be smiling. The master held up Morgan's note. Perhaps I can help you. But first you must prove yourself worthy of my help. Just then the tall ninja appeared. He made a sign to the master. The master stood up. He handed Morgan's note to Annie. We must go now, he said. The Sumerai are closed. Sumerai, said Jack. He knew that the Sumerai were fierce Japanese fighters. Were the ones in the valley? Jack asked. The ones with the torches. Yes, our family is at war with them, said the master. We must leave before they find us. But what about helping Morgan, said Annie. The master strapped on his sword. I have no time now, he said. I must go. Can we go with you, said Annie. No, there's no place for you where we are going. You must find your way back to your house in the trees. Alone, said Jack. Yes, you must go alone and be aware of the samurai. Why, said Jack. They will think we are one of us, said the master. They will ask you no questions. They will show you no mercy. Oh, my goodness. Yikes, whispered Annie. But you have seen the way of the ninja. You can practice it yourselves now, said the master. <laughs> How, said Jack. Remember three things, said the master. What, said Jack. Use nature, be nature, follow nature. I can't do that, said Annie. Jack looked at her. You can, he said. The master turned to Jack. Your tree house lies to the east. This is the way you must go, he said. How, wondered Jack, how do we find the east? Before he could ask, the master bowed. Then he disappeared in the shadows. The two ninjas led Jack and Annie out of the cave into the midnight, into the moon night, excuse me. The tall one pointing at the pine forest. Then they too disappeared into darkness. Jack and Annie were all alone. Chapter 7, To the East. Jack and Annie stood still for a long moment. Annie poked first. Annie spoke first. Well, I guess the tall ninja was pointing to the east, she said. I guess that's the way we go. 
Wait, said Jack. I need to write some stuff down. He took out his notebook. In the moonlight, he wrote, one, use nature. Two, be nature. Three, follow nature. Look, Jack, Annie whispered. Do I look like a ninja? He looked at her. Hmm. She had put her sweatshirt hood over her head and tied the strings tightly. She did look like a ninja, a very small one. Good idea, Jack whispered. He put, he pulled his hood up too. Okay, let's go, said Annie. Jack put his notebook away. Then he and Annie headed east into the woods. They slipped between the trees and more trees and more trees. All the trees looked the same. Jack got really, really confused. Hmm. Were they still going in the right direction? Wait, he said, and he stopped. They both stared at the woods around them. I think they think that they are really, really lost. Let's find out, guys. Do you think we're still going east, asked Jack? I guess so, said Annie. We can't just guess, said Jack. We have to know for sure. Well, how do we do that, said Annie. We don't have a compass. Just then, the master's words came back to Jack. The ninja master said to use nature. He said, how do you do that, said Annie. Wait, I remember something. Jack closed his eyes. Hmm. Remember something in a camping book? Now, hmm, what was it? He opened his eyes. I've got it. First, we need a stick, he said. Annie picked up a stick. Here, she said. Great. Now we just need a space with moonlight, said Jack. There, said Annie. They moved into a moonlight space between the shadows. Now push the stick into the ground, said Jack. Annie pushed the stick into the ground. The stick's shadow looks like it's more than six inches, said Jack. What do you think? It looks like... It looks like it, said Annie. Okay, then that means the shadow's pointing east, said Jack. Neat, said Annie. So that way is east. Jack pointed to a new direction. At least I hope it is. We're real ninjas now, said Annie. Yep, said Jack. Maybe we are. Come on. Come on, Annie, let's go. They took off heading east, they hoped. Soon they were out of the pine woods and walking down the rocky mountainside. They moved slowly from rock to rock. Finally, they rested against the giant rock. Let's check out our direction again, said Jack. Annie stuck another stick in the dirt. There, he said. He pointed to the shadow on the ground. That way, Annie peeked over the rock. Down the mountain? Yikes! She said softly. Jack looked too. His heart nearly stopped. He was really scared. There were flames of fire coming to the mountain. The Sarai. Jack and Annie ducked behind the rock. Jack reached into his pack and pulled out a ninja book. Wow, I hope something in here can help us, he said. Jack flipped through the page after page until he found what he was looking for. Bamboo! It was a picture of warriors wearing bamboo armor. 
they were holding swords, he read, the Sumaira fierce Japanese fighters, they carry two swords to cut down their enemies, and he tapped Jack on the shoulders. Jack looked at her. She pointed to the mountains. A figure was coming down toward him. He was very, very near. In the moonlight, his bamboo armor was shining. His two swords were gleaming. It was a Samari warrior. Oh my goodness. Look at that Samari warrior, guys. He looks really, really, really huge and scary. I don't know about that. Look at that. He's really big. Whoa, he looks like a robot to me. Look at that. What do you think? There it goes. This was really an awesome chapter today. That was really, really an awesome, good story on today. Well, that was it for chapter six and seven. That was an awesome story. I hope Jack and Annie find their way home. Well, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Storytime today with Miss Doris. And remember, if you're not feeling well, always, always let mom and dad know you're not feeling well. And guess what? They would take really, really, really good care of you. And when you come in from outside playing with your friends, make sure when you come in the house, you are washing and sanitizing your hands at all times because we don't want you guys getting sick and remember when you're out in public with mom and dad and they give you your mask to wear make sure you guys are wearing your mask at all all times we don't want you guys getting sick we want you guys well at all time. That's my story time, Mass. It's awesome. Well, you guys were awesome. Thank you so much for tuning in with story time on today with Miss Doris. And remember, if you're not smiling on today, I hope you're smiling once you see Miss Doris's smile. And don't forget, the letter J today is the letter I partially and you just hook it around like that. This is the letter I. Today's letter we worked on was the letter J. The letter J, you just taking this little pinky finger and just curving it over like that. And that is our letter J. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Have an awesome Monday. A smile just for you oh you know what we didn't even do our story time song but it's okay we'll do it tomorrow you guys are awesome love you all have an awesome awesome day and smile just for you